Hey guys, welcome back to class. My name is Elio and I'm gonna be showing you guys the process of upgrading your new MDRX charging handles. This upgrade is not required, but it is an option our customers can purchase on our website. Before we start the process, make sure you inspect and clear your rifle. Once it is made safe, we'll start by removing the barrel and handguard in the typical fashion. Next, we will separate the receiver and lower stock panel so we can focus on the receiver. Remove the ejector if you have a forward eject rifle and the bolt carrier. If you have a side eject rifle, you can just remove the bolt carrier. You'll need to find a good support for the charging handles before driving the pin out. A block of wood or plastic will do. Carefully drive the roll pin out and remove the charging handles. Now you can remove the pivot screws from the front end of the receiver. The pivots are removed by pushing them into the receiver and out the front. Before installing new pivots, add a dab of red Loctite to the pivot screw hole. Then install the pivots. The right pivot has two tabs, the left has one. Reinstall the pivot screws. Make sure you put the pivot link on the first screw, then install the second. Use the new pivot link that comes with the charging handle kit. Do not reuse the old pivot link. Then torque the screws to 40 inch pounds. Now you can install the new charging handles. Use a punch to align the pin holes. Again, with a block supporting the charging handle, drive the roll pin through it. Once installed, check both charging handles for proper function. Reassemble the rifle and inspect the charging handle function. If everything works and feels right, you are basically done. If you feel any hangups at the back of the charging handle stroke, you may need to replace the bolt carrier buffer in the butt of the rifle. To remove the butt pad of the rifle, heat up the two flush cup sling mounts with a soldering iron or something equivalent. This will help break loose the Loctite beneath. Then using two T15 Torx drivers, loosen the two flush cups until they can be removed. The butt pad can then be slid up and off. With the butt pad removed, you can drive the two pins out one side and pop out the buffer. The new buffer has a textured side that resembles fingerprints and a smooth side. The textured side goes against the butt pad towards your shoulder and the smooth side goes towards the bolt carrier. Then you can drive the roll pins back into place. Add a drop of blue Loctite to the QD cups before reinstalling the butt pad and torque them down to 40 inch pounds. You can now reassemble the whole rifle and recheck to make sure everything works properly. If you have any issues, please reach out to us so we can help. Hopefully we've been helpful in getting your upgraded parts installed. Feel free to comment below if you have any other questions or concerns. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.